Using UCINet from your Mac or PC is really easy. If you're on a Mac, all you need is the Cord or Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection application. Here we'll use Cord. It's about the same directions for both. You can download it free from cord.sourceforge.net. You just click Download and you're ready to go. Open it up and start it up. You'll have some a screen like this. You won't have all this over here, but it's really easy to connect. All you have to do is type in SAS and hit connect, and that will open up a window for you. And then just type in your username and password. So here we have it. It's already installed on that server, so just type, click open up UCINet 6. And then this is the important part. Go into Options and set the Scratch folder to your Windows Temp folder and set your Output folder to, I set it here as the Desktop, to the Desktop. Also go into File and change your default folder as well. I have it here set as the Desktop. Then you can go in and to test it out, you want to enter data. So let's enter some data in the matrix editor. Just enter a few ones. So let's set our size 6 by 6 for now. 6 by 6 as opposed to 66. All right, so just enter a couple ones. And let's go transform, fill blanks with zeros, sounds good to me. And let's save that. We can save that on the desktop. I'll just go ahead and save as junk. And we can close out of that. And then we want to see if we can display the data. So we go ahead and open up that junk folder and hit OK. And here's the thing. So there's the data great that part's working. Then we can also go into uh, analyze the data and let's go ahead and go into cohesion, density, and just density overall. And let's just choose the junk folder or the junk file and OK. And there it is, the density of the group. And that tells us that UCINet is working. So we've changed two folders in the options, or three folders, the scratch folder, the output folder, and the default folder. So be sure to change those when you first log in. You, that this should be the only time you have to change it. After you're done using the program, click close, close, click close, and then go ahead and click the start menu, and be sure to log off every time. That way it will let, the computer won't get so slow that nobody else can use it. If you have any questions, you can talk to me, Weston Taylor, or your professor, Kathy, and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.